We had an implementation at the Polish utility company uh, last week, and they have been testing NetCrunch for some time. And it was really interesting to see uh, what they learn about their network because of NetCrunch. So, for example, they had problems with managing some legacy connection uh, connections, some legacy address spaces of their network that were configured by uh, some contractors, by some legacy projects that were no longer relevant that they wanted to get rid of. But they could not easily seek, they could not easily find out which address spaces, which uh, IP addresses were used, how is it connected, where was it connected. And they have implemented NetCrunch. And the first thing is they, they discovered a lot of connections, a lot of devices connected to their network that they were not aware that they were still live. Some, uh, some radio connection to some, to some past projects. They were active. They were part of their, their task. But in fact, they were not, no longer relevant. They should get rid of them. But with, with NetCrunch, it was really easy to identify and close them. For example, they thought they, they only had some 1,500 various connections across the uh, network active. But with NetCrunch, they found out there were over 3,000 connections and half of them were legacy connections, some open ports, some, some radio connections uh, that were no longer relevant because devices it was connecting to were switched off, but the connection was active. So it, it's also a security risk. And it was just after one day of, of using NetCrunch, it was only a start, just discovery of the network and creating the maps, creating views, understanding what address spaces you have, what, what, what networks are part of your, of your network atlas. So this is the, the first feedback that we got on, uh, right after starting to use NetCrunch.